Hello everyone, True here, back with another video. I hope all of you guys are having a fantastic day. Before we hop into this deck profile, please remember to like and subscribe. We're getting closer and closer to 100 subscribers, so please do me a favor, um, hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything, and keep in mind you can always unsubscribe as well. And please hit the like button, really helps this video get shared with other people. And with all of that being said, let's hop into today's deck pro profile. So today's deck is on Machamp, the brand new Machamp from Champion's Path. Um, Machamp has the attack Macho Revenge. Um, for a fighting and a colorless, this attack does 20 damage for each fighting Pokemon in your discard pile. This attack is very strong in my opinion. Um, early game, it's a little hard to get set up, but uh, in the late game, you're hitting easily over 300 damage. And that's what makes Machamp so powerful. And its second attack is worth mentioning as well. Dynamite Punch for 200 damage, one shot to Eternatus, and, uh, can f and if you hit a Zacian for like um, 20 damage early game, you can finish it off with Dynamite Punch if you don't get the Pokemon in the discard pile. So Dynamite Punch um, is a pretty nice um, move to have as a backup um, attack. Um, it does 50 damage to itself, but Machamp's probably dying in one hit anyways to things like Eternatus and Zacian and Scorch. So like, um, the drawback uh, doesn't really matter in my opinion. So, and something else worth, worth mentioning is that Machamp is a stage 2 which is sort of what hinders this deck and makes it into a rogue deck instead of a real meta deck, but uh, we're going to try to make it meta here. So we play a 4-1-4 four, four, um, of Machop, Machoke, and Machamp. Um, because we do play 4 rare candy, um, we only need one Machoke to work with uh, in this scenario. And uh, because Machamp needs a fighting Pokemon in the discard pile, I paired it up with Excadrill, um, it's attack, uh, drill bazooka for 120 damage for one energy. It's pretty good. And, um, discard the four top, discard the top four cards of your deck. It's usually a bad thing, but in this scenario, drill bazooka actually synergizes super well with Machamp because you want these fighting Pokemon in your discard pile. And with something like a Rangaroo, you can easily stack that Pokemon on top of the deck and, um, get it in the discard pile with drill bazooka. And the other fighting Pokemon we have paired up is the Medicham with pure power. Um, it's if we're ever one Pokemon short, um, or even two Pokemon short to be honest, with pure power we can finish that Pokemon off um, by putting four damage counters anywhere we want. Um, super nice way to set up one hit KOs as well. So Medicham definitely a worthwhile tech in my opinion. And Master Strike um, is also a pretty good attack. Um, if we have Karate Butt on it, it hits for 120 damage. Um, so Medicham, pretty cool. Um, ideal, and uh, and we also play for the Dene GX. Um, now, we play for Clay. Um, Clay is ideally our best way to get these um, fighting Pokemon into our discard pile. Um, Discard the top seven cards of our deck, and any and any card that is not a fighting Pokemon, um, any card that is not um, an item goes into the discard pile. But every card that is an item goes into our hand. So basically, Clay is an if is basically a Turbo Greens in a way it's for searching out rare candies and um, Quick Balls, Comms, um, Ordinary Rods, things like that. So the Dene basically acts as our research for the turn, and Clay is our secondary supporter, basically. That's how um, I built the deck um, around Clay, basically. Um, we play two Ordinary Rods because um, every once in a while we do discard um, one too many Machamps, and we definitely need to recover them. We play four Pokemon Communication. Um, I don't play Great Ball because um, we are trying to attack with Machamp. Now, Machamp is a stage two. And sometimes we need to get Machamp into play because we have a rare candy in hand and Great Ball isn't always that reliable. So for that reason, we play Pokemon Communication in order to have an efficient way to search out our Machamps. Um, had Machamp been like a basic, we would definitely opt to go for Great Ball, but because it's a stage 2, we have to hinder consistency and play Pokemon Communication. We play 4 Quick Balls. Um, that's pretty standard. We play 3 Viridian Forest. Viridian Forest is a super nice way to search out energy. And um, it's also a great way to discard Pokemon from our hand, which is the primary reason we play it. Um, to Karate Belt, just in case we're, we're probably going to be behind on prizes. Um, our opponent's probably going to take the first knockout. 
And we can use Karate Belt to attack with Macho Revenge for 1 energy, or if we really want Dynamite Punch for 2. You play 7 Fighting Energy, and um, that's basically all I have to really say for this uh, Clay Champ deck. And uh, let's hop into some games. Alright, so hopping into our first game here against Jesse Varian. I guess I think that's how you pronounce the name. Uh, good luck to him or her. And um, our uh, opponent's still loading it. There's a Mewtwo coin from our opponent. Let's see if we win the coin flip. We do lose the coin flip, unfortunately. So our opponent's going to opt for us to go first. We certainly don't mind doing so. And um, looks like we have a pretty strong start. Um, we have access to the Denny this turn, which is pretty cool. Um, so let's see what we're up against. Looks like we're up against Mew3 or some sort of meme muck and alone muck deck. So... <laughs> Uh, definitely gonna be a very interesting game here. Start off with the quick ball. Uh, probably just grab him a chop to be honest, and hope we can hit um, some way to find a some way to find a Dene off of the clay. So attached to him a chop here. I'm just gonna pass to my opponent. So let's see what our opponent uh, is playing. Um, there's the fire attachment to the alone muck. There's the mu three. I don't know why they would attach to the muck and alone muck if they're uh, if they had mu three in hand. Definitely uh an unorthodox play uh, to say the least um, there's the water onto the muck and alone muck I don't see why they didn't switch into this mu3 um, that would have certainly been the optimal play so definitely a sort of intrigue by what our by our opponents play so far just the pass from our opponents gonna do it all right so start off with the clay here um, we hit um, a couple on uh, some couple of good cards to work with to be honest we can candy the Machamp. Um, excuse me. Uh, play the Quick Ball, get rid of the Pokecom, and we grab a Dedenne GX here. Um, pretty cool start from us, to say the least. Um, we cannot attack this turn because we actually don't play any switching options, but that's fine. Uh, having more time to set up, um, cer it's certainly not a bad thing. So I think I commit. Do I go? No, I'm, I'm not going to commit to the active. I'm going to attach to the benched guy here. Touch karate belt to this guy and just uh, go for the did I change so let's see what we draw into here a couple of comms uh, good nice nice cards to work with um, grab a fighting energy here um, off of the calm uh, no off of the Verdian force play the calm shuffle back in the meditate and go for a um, machop and I think we just uh, pass from here um, and yeah sitting in a pretty good spot to say the least um, our opponent can one hit KO our Machamp, which is annoying. We're weak to Psychic, which sort of sucks, not gonna lie. But uh, there's the Horror Psychic attachment from our opponent. If they want to boss our Machamp, they cannot play Water in the same turn. Uh, let's see what they They get rid of a uh, research, a um, couple of uh, couple of more cards. So that's fine. There's the Hearth from our opponent. Um, that's fine with us. Hearth acts as a way to get rid of Pokemon from our hand. So. I'm actually sort of fine with that. Uh, they grab two fire energies here. If they have welder, they can welder to their Mewtwo. There's still welder on the Mewtwo. All right, um, it's fine with us. Um, we can actually attack them with Dynamite Punch and hit them super hard if we don't hit the KO. So that is something that we can look into. There's the water grab from our opponent off of the Poke Gear. That's fine. Uh, there's a Cherish Ball that can grab them. And then they know that they're, they're gonna grab a Rushizard here. Um, that's fine. And just just a severe poison from our opponent is going to be their turn. Uh, they're going to take a prize card here. We're going to be able to respond with a Machamp of our own. And um, yeah, let's go from there. So we top deck over Candy. That's an unfortunate top deck. We just have to Dedenne here. Um, we don't have a choice, unfortunately. So doesn't matter. We hit um, another Rick Candy Machamp. That's super good. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Um, we can either attack them with uh, Macho Revenge or Dynamite Punch. Either one works. I think I'm just gonna go for the. Uh, I think I'm just uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 120 plus 120. Um, hmm. What do we do here? If we attack with Macho Revenge, this guy goes to the discard pile. But I guess they can boss something up. Maybe KO that. Um, what do we do? Um, Macho Revenge. They can actually GX GX us, which, which would be super scary. I'm not gonna lie. So let's let's heart the way this Meditite um, fail. Um, what do we attack with here? 20, 40, 60, 81. Uh, we're hitting six, seven, 
uh, no, 3, 4, 5, 8, we're hitting 160. I think I'm just gonna go for the Macho Revenge here. Punch our opponent pretty hard. And actually, I could have gone for the Dynamite Punch and actually played around our opponent's GX. No, uh, they're gonna hit us anyways. Um, if they decide to GX us, um, we're sort of fine. Um, because we get KO'd with uh, Nasty Goo Mix. Let's see if our opponent has a switch. There's the switch from our opponent into the Mew 3. There's a giant hearth, gonna grab the fire energy. Um, there's a gear. Uh, let's see if they grab their last water here or not. There's our opponent's last water. Alright, our opponent getting sort of lucky with their um, Poke Gears. Um, I think they've hit all of them, um, to be honest. There's the Flare Strike from our opponent on our, on our Machamp. And uh, we need a top deck something. I'm not gonna lie. We need we need something good on this top deck. And uh, Drillbur's not gonna cut it, so we can hearth away a Drillbur. Um, but uh, Macho Revenge is not gonna be hitting nearly enough here. And um, unfortunately, we're four Pokemon short, and I think we're gonna unfortunately take an L in this first game against Mew 3 Welder. There's just nothing we can do. We didn't hit a Clay, we didn't hit a Dedenne. Um, we sort of dead drew off of our second Dedenne, which is sort of unlucky. We play a lot of outs, and um, yeah, there's the watch over from our opponent. Um, yeah, they have access to their last Welder. They just have so many options to work with here. Um, there's a water for one onto our opponent's Mew 3. There's the horror psychic attachment. Um, man, they just have a lot of options to work with. Um, there's some miraculous duo. They're gonna heal their Pokemon. Um, <laughs> we're just uh, we're, we're just sitting in the loser spot here. So unless we top deck, they're, they're flashing us to wall play here. They know it's basically over. There's a quick ball, quick ball away the fighting energy, I guess. Um, go for the go for our last the GX here. Hoping for we can even bench the Drillbird here, um, the Dene GX here. Um, hopefully draw into um, some cards to work with. There's a Calm. That's 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 a start. Can grab us um, a Machop. Not giving up yet. Um, we're probably gonna lose, but we're not giving up quite yet. We can play down the Viridian Forest here. Get rid of uh, Excadrill. Uh, we don't even have access to Energy now. Oh man, I think we're gonna lose here. Um, yeah, um, there's a Karate Belt though, so if our opponent doesn't have Boss on our Machop, I guess we have an out to work with. Um, I think that's our only hope because our Quick Ball gives us access to the Dene for next turn, which is definitely what we're going to need. So I'm going to play the Ordinary Rod here, shuffle back in a, uh, shuffle back in a Machoke and, and a Dene GX here. Shuffle back in two fighting energies, and uh, if our opponent has boss on our Machop, we do just lose the game. There's nothing we can do about it, and I think this is our last candy as well, so I think we just lose anyways. Um, I think I'm just going to hold off on doing anything this turn. Pass over to our opponent. Um, I don't think we have an out to win here. Our opponent's probably going to have boss. Um, having this rare candy in our hand is actually really bad. They can even Venom Shot our Machop, now that I think about it, so... I think we just lose no matter what. Um, yeah, no, our opponent opts to flare strike. Interesting decision from our opponent to say the least, but uh, I don't think it matters. I personally would have venom shotted the Machop because this is certainly the threat they need to KO. Um, how many karate belts are we down? Um, we're down. Uh, we're just gonna lose here. Um, we're getting rid of our last candy. Um, we got close in the end, but uh. In the very end, we couldn't. Uh, we didn't. We didn't have the sauce to finish it off. Um, they even had access to uh, poison absorption. Now that I think about it, so our opponent would have won anyways. We're gonna take an L here in the in the first game, unfortunately. And now let's see if we can catch a dub in the second. All right. So hopping into our next game against a Jam Pyro. Good luck to him or her. Um, we're going second by the looks of it, which is fine with us. The starting hand's really good. We have access to a Machop. We have access to Clay. We have access to a lot of things. We even have Guru to put a Pokemon on top of our deck. I think I'm going to bench the Guru here. And then let's see what we're up against here. Um, looks like we're up against uh, some sort of Dark Box deck. Which is definitely a matchup we want to see. We hit uh, Dark Box for Weakness. Uh, unless they're playing the Mewtwo build, which is uh, which is which which makes the matchup... Slightly, uh, slightly more balanced for our opponent. Let's see what our opponent has going for them. There's a quick ball. All right, that's fine. They get rid of a Hoopa, so 
if they grab the Mew 3 here, we know it's a Mew 3 build. If they grab, um, yeah, let's see what our opponent grabs. I'm definitely intrigued to see what we're up against. If it's just a straight Dark Box deck, or if it's just a straight, um, or if it's the Mew 3 Dark Box build that, uh, that Tord Rekliva came up with. So, let's see what our opponent has going for them. There's a Quick Ball from our opponent. That's fine with us. Um, getting rid of a, getting rid of a Umbreon and Darkrai. Um, see what they uh see what we see what they draw into here um taking their time there's the greninja and zoroark uh still have not revealed the mu3 yet um they definitely should uh there's our opponent's third quick ball they had a really good starting hand goodness gracious there's the mu3 from our opponent all right so uh looks like uh we're up against the mu3 dark box build um there's a cherish ball our opponent just had the absolute uh, bonkers starting hand. Three quick balls, getting rid of three Pokemon into the discard pile. That's absolutely phenomenal. That's definitely what our opponent wants. So, um, they'll probably get a dark attachment to the Mewtwo. Um, it's pretty expected. And um, they'll probably be able to turn to KO our Machop with the way they've been setting up. There's the hiding dark energy attachment to the Dino. Um, they retreat into the Mew 3, which is a pretty interesting play. Um, there's the Pokecom from our opponent shuffling back in a Mew 3. Um, probably going to grab another, another Dino or something like that. No, there's the Guru. Alright, that's fine with us. Um, definitely going to be a pretty close game. Our opponent can continuously chain KOs on our Machamps. Um, so let's see, uh, let's see if we can keep up with the, with the tempo here. Um, let's see, uh, our opponent has access to a Primate Wisdom this turn. Um, our opponent's, uh, there's the Primate Wisdom from our opponent. Um, they're down a lot of searching options, that is something to note. Um, and, uh, we top that Quick Ball, that's, uh, cool. That gives us access to the Dene. I honestly think I'll just go grab a Dene here, get rid of a Metacham. Go grab the, go grab the Dene GX because we certainly don't want to get rid of, um, certainly don't want to get rid of the Dene with clay. So, um, get, we get a karate belt. All right, let's, uh, play the clay here. See what we hit here. Um, see a bunch of fighting Pokemon. See, oh man, no items to work with. Get, get rid of a Machop, which sort of sucks. Um, oof, that clay was, uh, sort of bad. Sort of bad indeed. Uh, bench the Drillbear here, I think is fine. Um, attaching to, I'm gonna risk it, um, attach to the active, um, attach Karate Belt to active as well, and just, uh, go for the Dede change here, um, see what we can draw into, this is a fat yikes, um, not gonna throw down Verdian, don't give, don't wanna give our opponent access to, uh, more energies than they need, gonna hit them with the low kick, and, uh, we're sitting on a dead hand here, which is super unlucky, we have four, we have four comms and three quick balls, two clays, Three the Dene left in deck, and we don't hit a single one. Um, so certainly RNG sort of unfavoring us here. Um, yeah, uh, which is a little unfortunate. Let's see what our opponent has going for them. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see if they're brick. They definitely can be. They're down a bunch of searching options. They're down a research. Wouldn't be surprised if they cannot find the Dene GX's turn. Um, yeah, there's a dark attachment from our opponent. Um, there's a research. Um, all right, they need Rick Candy, uh, Hydreigon, um, and um, and a Dark Energy in order to KO our Machop. And there's the Rick Candy from our opponent. Looks like they're gonna have it here. Um, man, that's really unfortunate. Um, nothing we could have done about it either. Um, yeah, we're sitting on this dead hand as well. There's the powerful Squall from our opponent. Um, going to be attaching a Secret Rare Dark Energy onto this Mewtwo and Mew. And uh, there's just not a whole lot we could have done to get mad. I guess I could have started Jobber, but Jobber, but with this hand, it doesn't look like it would have mattered. Um, again, not having access to the DNHGX, really rough. Um, really rough for us. Uh, no access to Clay either, really rough. Um, yeah, let's just see what our opponent uh, is going to opt to do. They can opt uh, to go for Rogue Ring, but there's absolutely no reason not to go for Dark Pulse and KO our Machop. So there's the Cherish Ball from our opponent, um, going to grab another Diddin HEX, looks like they're digging for probably more energies to set up, um, and uh, 
to get rid of um, more cards by the looks of it. I don't know why they did why they didn't mention another Dino. They don't know that they don't know that we don't play any Gus, so definitely uh actually no. Only having one Hydreigon around is fine because if we gusted a Hydreigon KO'd it, they still would have had the energies and it would have uh wouldn't have really made a difference. So let's see what our opponent uh has going for them. They they're attaching a bunch to the Mewtwo, which is interesting decision for sure. Um we definitely can attack with 11, uh, we can attack with Jirobazuka next turn, but uh, we're not even two hit KOing our opponent's Pokemon with, uh, with Jirobazuka. So I think we're just going to take an L here, to be honest. Um, there's the Black Lance from our opponent going to be punching our Didene as well. How rude of our opponent to do so. From out the Drober here, um, top deck something good, please. There's the Pokecom. All right, that's good, that's good. Um, attach Karate Belt to active. Throw down the Viridian Forest, uh, Pokecom, shuffle back in the Medicham, back into the deck. Um, probably go for a Didene here. Um, looking for, um, looking for, uh, a Machop to work with. Um, that would be super nice. Um, there's a Machop, there's a Candy, alright, that's good, that's good. Um, play the Viridian, uh, use the Viridian, get rid of the Medicham, grab the Fighting Energy here. Attach the, to the Machamp. Primate Wisdom put the Rare Candy on top of the deck. The reason I'm doing that is because we, if we drew into a clay, we would have wanted to play the clay and we would have gotten rid of the Rare Candy and we would have put the Rare Candy back into our hand. Um, actually, that's a misplay on my part because now we're going to get rid of the Rare Candy with Drill Bazooka, which is uh, not what we want. So uh, we're hitting 120 here. Oh man, that's a misplay. I should have put um, Machamp back on top. Oh well, we're just going to go for the Drill Bazooka here. Screw it! Um, getting rid of our get rare candy. We got rid of two rare candies. All right, that's even worse. Um, proponent opts to boss our Machop. Um, not a whole lot we can do about it, unfortunately. Two candies down really hurts us. Um, we still have access to a bunch of search, so we definitely can't kill this Mewtwo next turn, which uh, would sort of put us back into this game, you could say. Um, yeah, definitely a misplay on my part, putting the red candy back on top of the deck. Such a silly mistake on my part. Forgot I was going to be utilizing Drill Bazooka uh, this turn, so uh, definitely don't do that if you're playing, if you're going to build this deck. Don't make the same silly mistakes that I do. Um, let's see what our opponent has going for them. There's a Prime with some starting off with that. That probably tells us they have a Marnie, a Dead Hand, or a Research in Hand. There's the attachment to the Mewtwo. Um, do they have Boss on the Machamp? Uh, on the Machop, I mean. Um, is the question, um, and if they don't, the question is, can we can we draw out of it? Um, we need to get a rare candy and a fighting energy next turn. The fighting energy is basically guaranteed as long as we didn't price it with the Verdian Forest, which is pretty nice for us. Um, our opponent's taking their time here, not making any sudden moves. If they disconnected in their AFK, that would be that would be pretty nice. Like just a boss on our Dedene, however. Um, and oh man, we're sitting in a <laughs> in a rough spot. Looks like they're gonna KO our Dedene here. Um, definitely a pretty interesting play to say the least. Um, they definitely can't charge up a Mew three out of nowhere. I guess they're uh, are they gonna KO our Dedene? Um, yes, they can. Ho they can even hold off on KOing our Dedene and force us to retreat, attack with this Excadrill again. By the looks of it, um, our opponent can also go for. Um, Dark Moon GX, um, if they really wanted to, which would sort of suck. No, there's a Greedy Crush from our opponent. Going to, oh, that's what they were going for. They're going to take three prize cards here. All right, now we're in a really bad spot. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. All right, we need to top deck something here. Please, game, for once, uh, let me top deck something. Excadrill's not going to cut it. Start off with the Verdant Forest. Get rid of the Excadrill. Then a Fighting Energy out of the deck. Can we, talk, can we get a rare candy, please? Rare Candy would be much appreciated in this scenario. There's a Clay. All right, I'll take the Clay. Please give me Rare Candy. Rare Candy, no. Yep, there's a Rare Candy. All right, we're in this. We're in this. Um, Rare Candy, be active. Um, all right, we're still in this game. Um, for sure, for sure. We're going to be able to KO our opponent's active uh, Pokemon here. We're nearly at that point where we can utilize 11th Hour Tackle. We're punishing our opponent here for not, um, for not using Dark Moon GX for sure. And not KOing our Machop and getting greedy there. Um, for, that's We got pretty lucky there, I'm not going to lie. We're going to start off with the Ordinary Rod. Um, probably do both no matter what. Um, 
we have 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're hitting 240, I think. 3, 5, 6, 9, 12. Yeah, we're, we're hitting 240. So I'm going to get back into Den HGX here. And um, what else do we want? Um, Machop sounds good to me. Um, do I have another Ordinary Rod in deck? We do. So start off by getting Machop here. And uh, yeah, sounds good. Get back to Fighting Energies as well. Um, so uh we're down three rare candies we're not down four which is definitely good for us um probably just quick while this rover away go for the dene here and um yeah we're we, uh, we we somehow bought ourselves right back into this game that clay came in absolute clutch for us um for sure so um i think we're fine benching this much chop and uh, just going for that macho revenge KOing, uh, hitting our opponent for 240 damage here, punishing them for not KOing our Machop. And uh, there's a Machoke from the prize cards that's a really good card to have. There's another Clay, and uh, that's there's a Quick Ball. All right, pretty good prize cards here. Let's see if our opponent can return the KO on our Machamp. If they do, um, I think uh, we'll have to Clay and hopefully pray that our last karate belt is no our we don't have another karate belt to work with so if our opponent ko's are active i think we just uh we're sitting in a rough spot if our opponent ko's are active um i think we just lose if they do they definitely can win the game this turn they can boss up our the dene uh ko that our opponent if they get enough energies can also go for a dark moon gx which would put us in a really rough spot uh we just lose if our opponent uh is able to pull off dark moon gx um, our opponent needs three energies to be able to. No, they need more than three. I think, uh, 60, 90, 21, 50. They need um, they need four energies to KO us, I believe. Yeah, they need four energies. Let's see if they uh, no, they need three energies. Um, no, they need four. Uh, how much does this dude hit for? Uh, 60, 91, 21, 50. Uh, 60. They're already hitting 60, 90, 120. They need four. They need four energies this turn. There's two. Do they have a third and a fourth is the question um, that I'm wanting to know the answer to. Let's hopefully they don't. Let's hopefully they hopefully don't hit it here. There's a cherish ball. They can data change again. Um, and uh, there's another Mew 3, however. That's not a Dedene, but they probably have a draw supporter in hand and they're just thinning out the deck. Um, hopefully they don't have it here. That would help us out a lot. Not gonna lie, there's a quick ball that can grab them with the Dene. Um, all right, looks like our opponent. What did they grab? I didn't see. Uh, they grabbed a D a Dino. That's not a Dene. Um, they reinforce away the Dino. Um, looks like our opponent's looking for one last final dark energy. Um, 60, 90, 120, 50. Yeah, they're not hitting knockout yet. Do they have? Um, there's the Dene. I disagree with them reinforcing there. I feel like they wanted to draw into an energy, so they should have not uh which they should have held off on re using radiant forest let's see if they have the ko here do they have the last energy is the question there's the boss and our dedene however and that's gonna do it for the game all right our opponent got there in the very end but uh we got really close um the fact that we were able to return ko on our opponent's mewtwo is good enough for me so uh, that's gonna do it for the video guys unfortunately two losses but uh two uh, pretty good games in my opinion and uh, that's gonna do it for the video guys if you guys enjoyed please remember to like and subscribe and as always, uh, stay safe and uh, remember to have a good day and uh, peace out.